everybody has gone by. It's not a problem. Start it. He'll be at the tail end of the restart order in any case. Six speed gearboxes in these cars. Unlike many forms of racing, even on oval tracks uh, here, they race using fifth and six gears, and not a lot of spread between them. Well, actually, some of the teams are running three high gears, uh, Mike, uh, because of the class of SCCA amateur racing. Six years later, he's running the Indy 500. He's quick, Indy, too, and he got caught up in an accident uh, at the speed. Problem all fixed on Schmidt. They just brought him back in now to top him off the fuel. They're set to get try to get back into contention with the win here. And Jack Miller comes in right in front of him, so Wyatt I has to make a sharp turn into the pit. Here's Ron. Ted bidding the fuel man, putting the fuel in, and that was real close with Jack Miller bidding just in front of him, Mike. As you heard, Skip Paul. Tires are done. Right let's go, let's tires. go, 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 go. go. Completed on lap 60. 11 second pit stop for Wyandak. 80 mile an hour pit road speed. And now he's back into the grave. He's lost a lot of time. Well, he's, you saw him. I think the Ari was. It'll just be tires and fuel for Greg Ray. He a full threw load away of fuel, the, uh, the glass of water or the, uh, the, fuel, the water Greg. bottle. Didn't want it. Has not said much at all on the radio. They say he's very quiet when he's in the office and he's at work right now. Greg Ray off and away. Four tires and uh, topping Watch the, the fuel. speed limit. No chassis no, adjustments no problem at all. They say he's thrilled to death with the way the car is running. The shot was off. Right 73 miles an hour. In turn one. But turn two of the safety crew works now. Ralph? Got, Mike, it'll be four gonna, more tires and really fuel. They're having the trouble getting the fuel into the car. They're almost done with the tire change. They still haven't gotten the fuel in. The tire change is complete now. The fueling just begins. Mike, this is going to be a horrible stop for Tony Stewart. He's shaking his head at the car. He jumps on the throttle and cooks the hides as he leaves the pit. See, it's real Sorry, Kevin. Uh, we're just kind of trying to take it easy. We don't want to get in a crash. There's still a long way to go, so we're just trying to take it easy right now. Scott Goodyear right now pacing themselves, Mike. He's now in sixth place. Tony Stewart's gone by. That's Stewart, that neon colored car just ahead. Whoa! Scott Sharp says we see three wide they're racing. They're, there it is. They're all around. Nice well, these they're are all the leaders. Around. I mean, these, these aren't like they're passing slow cars. That's correct. And uh, Ward, Stewart just bonsied him on the bottom, and uh, that could have caught him out by a little bit of a surprise. Let Stewart make the way for you. Laps in. Tony make a run on the outside, but got chopped off and let the head roll out of the throttle. Now, Robbie Unser, he's trying to catch Scott Sharp. That is for position, 13th place. And here comes Ray on the outside again. And for the second time tonight, I got to say that Unser car is off the line. He's taking that Unser line. Now I think oh, he's got it. Oh, oh, how close is that? A little bit too close. <laughs> that's, that's about the thickness of a potato chip between those two cars. <laughs> You see, see what happens when you get out of the when you get out of the throttle like that. It takes you a whole lap to get back to speed. It's a it's a very difficult circuit. It really is a lot like Daytona for us. But at Daytona, they race those NASCARs open throttle all day long. And it's the same thing here. You get just out of the throttle, and you're in trouble. You can see how well they're Menard's cars are running today. They have a really strong engine in there. You can tell that they're just managing to get through the cars like they're almost some of them are standing still. Well, one of them for sure. That's that uh, yellow one we're looking at right there. He's had to come to the back on the uh, more than the one occasion. Slow car. Is that Kenny Breck? Uh, I think it was John Paul, a red white car. But he was Sorry. awful slow in a fast groove, and it that's is, what the problem is. It was John Paul back on track in the vision air car. And they're moving sure. around by Paulkin before he caught. And let's get an update. I'm Greg Ray, here's Vince. They're really happy with the way Greg Ray's running at this point. The one complaint they did have, and I know you've got Eddie Chief up there in the booth, is that they didn't think uh, Unser was getting out of the way for him the way that uh, they hoped that he would. So uh, other than uh, trying to get around Robbie Unser, everything is fine in the Greg